Welcome to Karats Online. This is our stock. Now we are going to add a parcel to our stock. Enter the quantity, weight. You can choose the supplier from our list of suppliers where we want to store the parcel. What kind of parcel is it? Um, of course, what characteristics of the stone that we add. Enter the size. The origin country. And this, the cost of the stone. You can enter per carat, per unit, or total for the parcel. And the same for the price. Okay, you can add images. To certificates or to the email to the stone itself. Okay, now it's a draft. Okay. Here we can merge, print barcodes, change location to multiple stones, and of course delete or confirm. Once we check that all the data is correct, we can confirm it, and now it's in stock. If we go here, we can see all the information. We can split the parcel to multiple uh, parcels. Of course, if you have multiple stones. And a quick entrance is to create an invoice or a memo is to select the parcels and click on action. Okay, now I have a new Invoice number, I select the customer. I can change the quantity and the weight if I want to sell less than what I than all the parcel. I can add discount for the line in the invoice. I on top of that I can add a discount for the total invoice by percentage or by amount. I can add shipping and insurance. Okay, now the VAT here is 7% by default, but my company works with 7% by default, so you can set it to zero as well, and it will always come with a zero. Once it's saved, it's a draft invoice. Okay. I can look at it. Okay, I can add it, of course. And I can print it at any point. Okay, this is the uh, minimal invoice. There is no logo. You can choose another template of the invoice. Okay, uh, this generates a PDF file. You can save it locally or send it later. And of course, the, the button with the customer sends a predefined template of an email directly to your customer with an attached PDF file. Okay. Now after I review the invoice, I need to confirm it. Once I confirm it become an awaiting payment. This means the stocks is already out, everything changed, the customer owe you money. Once you settle the bill, you click pay and the numbers are fixed as if you paid you the amount. Okay, now we see the parcel is closed. On hand we have zero uh, inventory. And we can see also that we actually sold and how much. 
Okay, and we can check more detailed history of who did it, when, and what happened exactly. Okay, we always have links to link to an invoice, to a company, to a parcel, to a memo. You can open all of this in multiple tags. Okay, now I see there are no items in the stock. It's because the default is once it's closed, it's not going to show you. Okay, now I can see the parcel. That's it for now. Thank you for watching.